Here we are, we're doing a hike to the wall of the Salamone Dam today. Taking a hike through the woods, not our normal way because the water's up a little bit to spill away, but see some cool things like this outflow, a little stream that comes through the parking lot area there. This is just beautiful. A little bit of a waterfall, icicles all over it. Wow, look at that. That is cool. <laughs> it's an icicle forest up there. I'm going to visit the Salamone State Forest. You're missing out on the coolest features. See this giant wall along the dam. It's a little tricky during the summertime because it's it's real slick from algae growth on the rocks but despite that the rocks are pretty pretty grippy and you just take your time walking stick is a big plus to enjoying this and here recently you get to share this with uh, bald eagles and have seen them today quite often pretty neat but this is a this is a man-made feature but originally but nature's kind of taking its course to make it into its own over time Just beautiful. And I love the, all the seams in the rock. And this rock is super loose. If you Let's see, just real crumbly limestone. That's why there's these piles. You gotta be careful not to get yourself into too much trouble, and especially when freeze or thaw time or heavy rains or whatever don't be too close to the rock face we're getting out of the overhang area now more to the getting to the back close to the little peninsula it looks like an island uh, when it's flooded most of the aerial photos show reservoirs flooded so the water does go th straight through here and then around where the river is on the other side making an island but most of the time it's just this kind of awkward peninsula and the trees and it's been kind of piled up around with these with this limestone coming off of the the wall that we just walked by so you see it's like a almost like a completely different world because of all the rock that's piled up about them. So when we're walking through here, I just love this dripping moss. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like completely part of an icicle, like a living icicle. I'm getting up here close to the little waterfall. You just see it. <laughs> slowly dripping and forming all the different colors this orange and the greens and browns it's so cool there's a slight it's almost like a grotto or something up here I love this little rock it's got snow on it yeah. Tree overhanging. Not a, the rain card, this is pretty cool. Just so calming. Waterfalls just have that feel to them. 
we're a decent ways off from the dam now, as you can see. You don't hear the roar of it so much. We keep on our way and we get to the limestone trees. Here we go. So yeah, you just see this whole area in here. This chock full of broken down limestone. Not much grows on it. This <coughs> some grass because this area gets blown out when they raise the open the reservoir gates up. Let more water out during a flood. Here we're now back. It's almost like a tide pool. Back here is just a few low areas that keep water in them, but you can really see the all the pieces of the stone all perfectly crushed up. So they've been laid over each other through years of flooding and cracking and breaking. What we're on is not a mark trail in any way. It's been beaten down by people and weather over time, so it's a neat area. Definitely worth taking family to to see. Especially now um, with the eagle population, bald eagle population growing and here in nature. If you like fishing, this is a good place to come, especially in the spring, summer, and fall. It's just beautiful out here. Gotta be one of the neatest little areas in Northeast Indiana, for sure. A lot of other dams are a lot more boxy and structured. Oh, here we come. Well, we're gonna get as close as we can with this bald eagle. We'll fly right over the top of us. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, it's about as good as you're going to get on a GoPro. We'll fly right on by. That's pretty cool. They just come up and down the, from the reservoir up and down this river. We're only a couple miles um, straight down uh, to the Wabash, where they come to, Salamone and the Wabash come together. It's a really good corridor, wildlife corridor, with the Sound Money State Forest and the reservoir property and the Acres Incorporated land and all that good stuff. Hard to beat. But just look at all this rock. Normally trees wouldn't be growing in this. Nothing would be growing in this, but these trees most likely were here well before. And then was. Well, at least before the erosion got so much. The farther you get up, you start to get out of them. Uh, I mean, it's still this whole pile is just built of it. It'd be interesting to see what this area looked like before the dam was built. So I'm not entirely sure this area. looked anything like this. Just seems like piles and piles. It's more of the Salamone River area now. So getting out of the rocky pile and into more of the normal look of the Salamone. It just has super high bluffs you can see across the way on either side really. A really high bluffed river um, keeps it I mean a little bit clearer water because um, its fall rates a little bit faster than other rivers like the Wabash for sure but it also just keeps it so natural looking it's like you're on your own place even if people are just a couple feet away to finish the the trek from where we started to 
this little pathway. See, the ground has changed from stone to sand and giant sand mound on the side of the river here. One of my goals for this upcoming fishing season is to put a kayak in on this stretch of the river and fish all the way to the, to the Wabash River. So hopefully I can accomplish that. And there's a pathway that goes on down the river. Real cool rock area, out cove over there, across the river as well. Have to head over there sometime and explore that. Well, we have arrived back. Thanks for joining us.